Hey there, this is me, Mercia. So today's topic, sustainable lifestyle. A sustainable lifestyle is when you prioritize using natural and renewable resources instead of creating, using things, using products or things that create excess waste. So that's what is the general term for a sustainable lifestyle. Even though it is very inconvenient and there are not a lot of options to be sustainable, to live a sustainable life, it is possible and it's very simple. It's not to do with the things that the government control. We as individuals, we can make changes in our day-to-day -day lives which contribute to the well-being of the society, the pros of living a sustainable life. Number one, you're conscious about your choices. You're not just uh, thinking about yourself only, you're thinking in the bigger picture. So you put yourself, you zoom out and you look at it because everything you do, obviously it has an effect, right? You're not just like one person. It's like our choices, our day-to-day -day choices do impact the bigger picture. Number two, is you being responsible for not just this your generation but your future generation so you're being considerate third good for you your health and well-being there's a lot of ways that you can be uh, sustain live a sustainable life and most of it is to do with uh, being conscious of the choices you make and that is to do with your lifestyle your eating habits your exercise how can you live a sustainable life number one is resources so resources what I mean is electricity, um, gas, water, running water, what else is there? Things like that. Even if the lights, you don't need it, switch it off. Be mindful of the things. And even water, when you're using, when you're washing your face or anything, don't leave the tap on. If you see a tap that's on, close it and like don't let a tap leak. If you're being so, you know, careless and if you don't care about it one day it will eventually run dry and then you will be like you know oh shit i should have taken care of it. so how it fits in the bigger picture is that okay first of all you're going to pay extra bills and it's gonna cost you more secondly why it's bad is that the electricity you're using is not just electricity it was generated using fossil fuel they contribute to producing greenhouse gases the second way we can be sustainable is to do with diet when it comes to food, it is so obvious that you have to choose foods that are fresh, that are whole foods, for example, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. It is better if it's local, you know, the ones which grow in your in season and it's from your place, uh, from your area. It's better to have that instead of processed food or food that you buy outside because the processed food and the food that you buy outside has been through so much processing. Also, it's unhealthy for you because there are a lot of uh, ingredients that you, your body doesn't need. It's unhealthy and it is also not sustainable. So the food that you buy, you make at home with the ingredients you get from the market, it is healthier and it is also more sustainable. Another point when it comes to diet is that you should try to eliminate meat products. I know it's very hard for Naga people to hear that, that you know, eliminate meat products. But it's true because if you eat meat products and if you eat meat, a lot of meat, you're more prone to get high blood pressure, diabetes and other heart diseases, right? The meat that comes from animals, the whole process of it, the whole, um, you know, the f cattle farming, the pork, all that takes a lot of energy. And especially nowadays, there are a lot of, you know, chemicals and medicines and there's so much things going on in third fashion. So a lot of us know that it's trendy, obviously, to style up, to follow the trend and buy a lot of clothes and change it. So it's fast fashion and fast fashion is also one of the leading causes of climate change and uh, pollution because the amount of uh, clothes people are buying and throwing away is so much and to produce all those clothes to produce uh, with the resources it takes the water the electricity everything it's so much if you are someone who likes fashion and who likes buying clothes like you have to think about you know just just because it's trendy doesn't mean you have to buy it and wear it because it'll be it'll go away so 
when you're buying something just be like you have to think like do I really need this will it really suit my body type will it look good and can I use this for a long time and will it last so I think these are the questions we need to ask while shopping for clothes also there are fa uh, brands that are slow fashion nowadays and there are brands that are more environmentally conscious and sustainable so you can opt for that or you can also thrift clothes I've seen a lot of people like thrifting it's nowadays it's like a trend so the stigma that thrifting had before like people used to say oh it's so cheap it's this and that thank god it's going away nowadays as like thrifting is becoming a trend which is a good thing the fourth thing you can do is waste segregation right what waste segregation is so there is a post in this um, Instagram page called Erdarasrt. It's regarding the waste segregation and how we can segregate waste. So waste segregation can be done in every household. It's very simple. When you're in the kitchen, uh, so there are a lot of kitchen scraps, right? Vegetable and all these things. So instead of throwing that all together in a dustbin, you keep the scraps up aside and keep uh, keep a bucket or something and collect it there. The waste which can be recycled which for example paper bottles and there are certain uh, options you, so you put that in another dustbin and you can actually recycle them give them to your people who come to re collect recycle tinaloha plastic people give it to them or if you burn it even worse because it causes so much air pollution and air pollution is one of india's biggest problems when it comes to environment and you know health being very careless about your garbage also causes so much pollution you know dustbin throwing here and there it looks so bad and our place looks dirty and even our city like looks so bad if we're just throwing things you know so i feel like we should be mindful if you see someone throwing things just in the street or wherever like just tell them don't do that it's you know we all have to be conscious sometimes i mean it happens like i'm not like saying i never do it i did it obviously but we have to be conscious and be like, you know what, if I want to actually be someone who is a good influence and if some, be someone who actually does something good, then you ha we have to take such steps, you know, to be responsible for our place, for ourselves, for our community, for this world. The fifth thing you can do, try gardening. I mean, it's, it sounds very, you know, not so sustainable but the kitchen waste which you collected you can actually make compost right it's pretty easy i'll show it in another video the food you buy from the market the whole food the vegetables and all you get that you collect the seeds for example tomatoes chilies you just collect the seeds or if it's you know rotten put it in the soil let it grow easy and then use the compost here so it's like can you see it's like a cycle you're actually reusing the the seed you buy from the market which is healthy and then you collect the scrapes which instead of throwing the dustbin you collect the scrapes the kitchen waste and you make it into compost and use the compost for the garden and gardening and the, when you're gardening you're actually reusing everything that you bought from the market and the waste and then you you put it and then you take care of this plant you're being responsible you know gardening is also another way to be responsible because you have to water it every day you have to look at it every day you have to watch it grow so it's a form of being responsible it will give you the harvest so that and then you will be more appreciative of nature and also of the cycle right the how things grow if you take care of it so it's it's a good way to be more conscious and be more uh, it's a good way to be more sustainable. I hope you enjoyed I, this video. I hope you learned something and I hope you also decide to, you know, that you want to try it. You said, mm, let me try to start living a sustainable life. Maybe it's something I can do to contribute. Bye. Peace, love and positivity.